All right, we've got a few businessy things to take care of before we can get to the fun. Let's begin with the 100 subscriber celebrations giveaway. Unfortunately, I haven't heard back from either SFS Pro or GamerKid. I did actually hear back from a guy pretending to be SFS Pro, but thankfully I realized it was a scammer before it was too late. It was almost too late though, but now I know to be more careful. Anyhow, please don't do this, don't be a scammer. Regardless, as I haven't heard back from either of them, I am forced to redraw winners for the giveaway. Now they still have until Saturday, Saturday June 10th at 7pm Eastern, but at that time I will draw two new winners from the original entries and reply to the comments on the original 100 subscriber giveaway entry video. Once I pick new winners and reply to their comments, they will have just 48 hours to get in contact with me. If they don't, then 48 hours later, on Monday, June 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern, a new winner or winners will be selected as needed, and then their comments will be replied to. This process will repeat until I'm able to give these boxes away. Please take these boxes away from me, and look out for scammers. I will never ask anyone for money, including shipping. I'm covering shipping myself. So if somebody claims they need money to ship these to you, they're probably scamming you. Always check their handle, their little at name, below their real username. Anyhow, let's get these out of the way. The second order of business is the wall. Now, I asked you guys for help, and many of you suggested I take down some of the lower value cards and put them in a binder. I actually really liked this idea, so I got a binder. It's from Fabmaker off of Amazon, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It was only $14, but the quality is really high, and there's tons of space for new cards. Now, only the best cards will make the wall, and the kind of eh cards will make the binder. But with the power of editing, I can just snap my fingers and take some cards down into this binder, like so. Now, all of the cards from the wall that got taken down are in this nice binder. They're currently in here in no particular order, but maybe I'll go through and sort them into when they were pulled and put them in that kind of order. Now you might have also noticed that Arceus is no longer in his spot, and that's because it's room for a new friend. It's a grumpy little Empoleon. Arceus can go and be RNGesus guarding the little collection of click clacks there. So now that we've cleared out some space on the wall, we can get to the fun part. Now, I have a bad habit of hitting cards off the desk when condensing them, and that's not usually good for the cards. But to address that, I've got a more Peko V Union Premium Playmat Collection. I got this from TCG Stadium, and while normally I would leave a link in the description below so you can check it out, they don't actually have this on their website anymore. I guess they had a clearance sale, which is when I got mine, and so I'll still leave a link to their site because they do have some really cool products. They have a lot more than just Pokemon. But I'll also leave a link to this product on Amazon because right now I think it's $25.99 on there and that's actually a pretty good deal. Now inside the box we immediately have our playmat which features a really nice artwork of Marnie and Morpeko. I'll try to fit this into our area here, so that way I can give the cards a nice little trampoline to bounce off of instead of just the hard desk. We'll fix the edges, and then we can get back to the box itself. Though, I do have to say that this playmat feels really nice. It's like a high quality mouse pad. Inside our collection here, we have our V-Union cards. Now these are pretty cool, but it'll be easier to talk about the cool factor with the Jumbo card. So I've seen some people build competitive TCG, TCG decks out of this, out of V-Union cards. Now Professor Burnett hidden back here with our code card is essential to getting this TCG battle ready, but with moves like All You Can Eat where you can draw 10 cards into your hand, and Burst Wheel, where you can do, what is that, 300 and, uh, damage? This can really get you out of some tough situations. It can fill up your hand and pretty much one-hit anything. 
but it could be really difficult to get it set up. And a lot of times, getting set up in TCG battles is everything. Now, speaking of getting set up, we'll get these booster packs set up and set everything else aside. We've got five Crown Zenith boosters, and as I talked about in the Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box video, there's a lot of Crown Zenith cards that I really want. Specifically, and pardon my reach here, these four Golden Sinnoh Legendaries. Now, with five packs, technically, I could have all of those in here. It is possible, very, very unlikely, but possible. So we'll just have to open up and see. I can always hope, right? We'll get started with our first one and see what we can come out with. We've got our friend the code card, which we can place on this nice playmat and not have to worry about scuffing the code card. And we can get started with energy. Ultra Ball, Crushing Hammer, Luxio, Baltoy, Galarian Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Larvesta, Holy, a Dark Rai V Star, and Dragolich. Oh, that is awesome! What a great first card, first pack to start with. Holy. This card makes it on the wall. I mean, this is more than good enough, and I like it a ton. Oh, wow. All right. I'm going to grab a sleeve for this right away, which is something I've been forgetting to do for some of my cards, and we'll set it aside. We'll get to the second pack, but what a great first pack that was. I, that's going to be tough to match or beat throughout the rest of this. Shout out... TCG Stadium for providing such a good box right off the bat. And we'll get these guys out of here again, and we'll look at our code card. Now, I do like that with these slightly newer packs, the code cards no longer spoil anything. They're all the same on one side regardless. I like that a lot. Speaking of things I like, we have energy. Layer on. Friends in Sinnoh, Gloom, Salandit, Purloin, Grubbin, Skrulp, Helioptile, a Reverse Hollow Yanma, and Leon! Alright! Another autograph card, just like our Nessa back here. That, again, it's a card that I like so much. And in my Crown Zenith box opening video, I mentioned I really like these autographed cards. This one also makes the wall. I might have to be a little more picky and take some of these down. I'll grab a sleeve for this guy too. And set him with Darkrai. And then we'll get to our next one. We'll just keep chugging away here. So far, this is awesome. I absolutely love Crown Zenith, and it apparently loves me back. It's been super kind to me in every pack I've opened. We'll get our four from the back to the front and see if it'll still be kind. With energy, Electric, Rescue Carrier, Girafferig, Larvesta, Oddish, Seal, Potion, Aaron, oh, Radiant charge -a bug and Blossom. The Radiant Charger Bug is really cool. I do like the Radiant pattern on it. It's not quite good enough to go on the wall, but it's good enough to go in the binder. So we'll grab a sleeve, set it aside, and we'll get to the next one. Now, are you guys excited for the new Paldea Evolved set coming out? I know I am, but let me know in the comments below what are some cards you're looking forward to in that set. Personally, I really like the full art Fue Coco as well as Skeletor GX. I'm hoping that I get some of those in my box, which I'll have an Elite Trainer box as the next video, actually. But for now, we've got Energy, Great Ball, Graveler, Rare Candy, Pawniard, 
Whalmer, Pokeball, Corefish, Oddish. Whoa, full art ditto. Oh, this is awesome. This looks awesome. I love how cute he is hiding with all of these new mel. And we've got double. I like how the second to last card has seemingly been our best consistently. This one, I'm going to have to debate if this makes the wall because I really like this. It's just cute. Regardless, it gets a sleeve for sure. If I can get it in the sleeve. And we'll set it aside. We're four for four here, going into our last pack. Maybe there's some last pack magic. Or maybe we've used up all of the magic already. Regardless, I am far from disappointed. This has been great. Crown Zenith is the best, without a doubt. We've got energy. We've got a lost vacuum. We've got Laron, Friends in Sinnoh. Larvesta. Tangela, or Tangela, however you want to say it. Baltoy. Galarian Meowth. Whalmer. A hollow energy. Very nice. And... Hatrine V! <laughs> Alright. This pack was great to us. This box was great to us. Again, shout out TCG Stadium for apparently sending me the best box that they possibly had. Not only did I get a cool playmat out of it, some great V Union cards, but I got all of these guys as well. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out Collectible Adventures on Twitter and Instagram, and be sure to keep an eye out to see if you get picked as a winner for the giveaway. I will respond to the comments in the original video, like I said, right at 7pm on Saturday, if those two do not claim their boxes. Regardless, I hope you all have some great adventures of your own, and I'll see you next time.